We're losing! Teamwork, guys. More teamwork. They're burying us alive! Wow, shit. Jeez, Louie. Honey, don't you want to beat those bastards? We're gonna be winners. What's the matter? You got nothing left inside, huh? Because you're turning like a damn bum, you know that. Screw them! What are you doing? Dead. What are people doing? Is this early access to. Hey, let me tell you something, bro. Get out there now and do the best you can. All right, Sunday night, and I'm feeling all right. Welcome, episode 138 of the Bad Fodder Figures podcast, live here. Devious Mr. Matt, glove box, how we doing, gentlemen? Yo. Great. Hello, Hello, people. Wonderful Sunday. You know what I realize sometimes when I listen to the show is we don't say our names enough, you know? Like, if some, someone new came into the stream right now, they might not know who's Matt and who's Mike and who's Eric. So, if anybody doesn't know who's who. I'm <clears> Eric. <throat> I'm Matt. <laughs> I'm Mike. <laughs> no one wants to be me. <laughs> we know why no Matt one wants, wants to be Mike. We know why Matt wants to be Eric, but we won't go there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I th- that's probably why Barb wants me to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before we get too <laughs> before we get too further, uh, free games this week on the Epic Game Store is Costume Quest Two and Layers of Fear. Those are the uh, typical Halloween type games. Speaking of Halloween, gentlemen, next week Sunday, November first, we're going to have a Halloween costume show. Um, pretty simple. Pick out a costume. Join our Discord at tiny.cc forward slash BFFS. We will bring you on the show one by one, show you off your costume, and then we will decide who is either the best or worst costume, and you can earn $60. I can't wait. Now, gentlemen, I'm not sure what the participation is on this. This could blow up in our face. Matt, do do we feel like we need, like, at least like five people to give us like a heads up, like ahead of time, like, Hey, I'm going to be there. I'm going to have a costume ready. Cause you know, my, my fear is here, you know, even though we're trying to give out money to people, right. Is that we announce this and we get like one person shows up and it just, you know, <laughs> it's just, well, Hey, it's, it's well, he went he to win a chicken dinner at that point. I, right. I kind of agree with Eric. Yeah. You know, it'd be nice to have a heads up, you know, if people were saying, Hey, you know what? I plan on doing this. I plan on coming in, you know, whatever. <clears throat> but like Eric, if, if like just one dude shows up, then it's like, all right, congrats. You won by default, man. Yeah. yeah. I, and I'm going to say they got a, You got a good chance of being just like that. that Unless the costume good. absolutely sucks. Right. Yeah. Like thrown together. Like, you know, they stuck two pieces of paper next to their head and go, I'm a PlayStation five. You know, yeah. <laughs> no, that, no, that's that. They're gonna owe us money. <laughs> they will owe us money if they do that. <laughs> so again, uh, that's next Sunday, November first. Hard to believe. Um, that's also we turn the clocks back on that next Saturday, right? Yeah. yeah. So that could be yeah. eight o'clock, nine o'clock, depending on on how we uh, remember the time. But um, it'll, it'll feel like midnight here. It'll be so dark. Yeah, shit. It'll be dark by four, four thirty. Um, so again, discord is tiny.cc forward slash BFFS. And the uh, last bit of housekeeping, our audio and video portion of this delightful podcast is uploaded by yours truly, uh, during the week. So if you've missed the show and you want to catch the Twitch replay, you can certainly watch it on Twitch, uh, for a few weeks and then it gets taken down or taken away, whatever they do. But it will live forever in infamy uh, on YouTube. So if you missed last week and you want to hear Matt uh, discuss certain words like ranchid and odifious, um, you know, <laughs> head over to YouTube, you know, search Bad Fodder Figures. And the, uh, we have a playlist for the Twitch broadcast and a playlist just for the audio portion. So, 
That's awesome. We are, and we are a delightful podcast. We are very delightful. I think so. I, I am very delightful. Certainly, uh, a well lit podcast tonight, Matt. You're very illuminated back there. You're feeling inspired. You're trying to, or you're just trying to get a little bit of a tan. <laughs> trying to get, trying, trying to keep my summer tan going on. Yeah, it's been a little, you know, dark here, dark ages here in Cincinnati. So, trying to keep it, you know, the brightness going to keep my, to keep me up and happy. You know, shit, man. With the Bengals, the way they've been playing, it's how, how do you lose to the? Well, the Browns are four and two now, five and two. But they, the Browns had a couple uh, bad weeks, or certainly a bad week last week. So the Bengals had to feel good about their chances, but just lost it. Oh, the Bengals game. are doing great. The Bengals can't play a full fucking game of football. Mm. Fucking defense collapses. Defense, last two games, the defense lost that game. Last week, we was up 31 and nothing, and they come back and they fucking lost. <laughs> this week, we're winning and winning and winning, and fucking defense came back and fucking lost. Joe Burrow's a beast, man. He's fucking got a 112, 115 quarterback rating. Yeah. Uh, fucking over 300 yards every goddamn game. Jesus Christ, man. How do you fucking lose after doing that shit? He's going to be disillusioned after a little bit here. He's going yeah. to oh. he's gonna talk to his boy Trevor at uh, – it's still in college. I'm like, dude, <laughs> hold up. Don't go to the Jets. The Jets are 0-7. Um, fucking – I think – Matt, I think it's going to be a uh, nip and tuck race here, with with the exception of the Jets. The Jets are going to get the number one pick because they're just so terrible. But between the Patriots, the Bengals, and Dallas, it's going to be nip and tuck to see who gets the second, third, and fourth pick. How about fucking Dallas? Andy Dalton getting Concussed. fucking knocked the fuck out today. Yeah, he got hammered, bro. Holy shit. The Washington oh, yeah. football team is no joke. They take things seriously. Yeah, okay. They three five. <laughs> hey, that's better so. than the Patriots and the Bengals. Oh. Cam Newton got a bench today. Who did? Cam Newton got a bench. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I, I think he's going to come to Washington next year. No, I don't think he's going to be around with the Patriots. I think they're going to go to that Stidham kid. But uh, congrats, Eric and I, who's in chat. The Lions uh, won again, and um, Washington won. So we got two and two this week. The Bengals and Patriots down, and the Lions and uh, Washington football team on the way up. So Yeah, yeah. They, they, congrats. They beat, the, they beat the brakes off the Cowboys, 25-3. Great. Mm. Mm. Cowboys are in a world of hurt. <clears throat> it's a quarterback. Oh, it's a quarterback-driven league. You don't have a quarterback, you don't have a chance. And that's the truth because they put their third string in. That was his first time playing in the NFL, period, and he got destroyed. Mm. So good game tonight, uh, Cardinals-Seahawks. Uh, I was watching a little bit of that. We'll see, what, we'll see what happens there. I wish I could catch that, but such is life. Um, Matt, I don't know how often you peruse the Twitters, but I saw um, this one person on Twitter saying, Yo, PlayStation. Uh, I'm an up-and-coming streamer. That's um, right. I need a PS5. Don't no, I didn't know, say that. Don't you need a glove box matters? I, yeah, I said glove box matters. Yeah, yeah, everybody else getting the PS5s and people were getting... Refrigerators? Uh, ref, yeah, I just ain't got a damn uh, Xbox refrigerator. I'm like, what about your boy? I mean, Snoop, well, Snoop well, Dogg You're not an influencer. You're not an influencer. I am an influencer. He's up and Are you? I am. Oh, okay. I must have missed <laughs> that part. Because <laughs> you don't, you haven't subscribed to my channel. You don't go to Glovebox Games. No, I have you subscribed are. to your channel. We're going to get to that. I. We're going to get to that. Um, but so there was an interesting Google Stadia got more publicity this week than they've gotten yeah. since the life of the program. And it's not the type of publicity that you want. I know we're jumping no. into news here a little early, but you know, when we got an up and coming streamer, we need to we need to get you know the the uh, you know the, the inside out. The in, yeah. The, the, so Matt, weigh on in this as well because certainly I think you have a strong opinion on this too. You know, the honorable uh, Matt Helmer over here. <clears throat> um, so this quote here is from Alex Hutchinson, who's a creative director of Stadia Games and Entertainment at, at a studio in Montreal, formerly known as Typhoon Studios. And so the backstory here is that there's been a lot of takedowns uh, 
music. Streamers have been playing, you know, music. Certainly, Matt, you know, with the guy that you watch on Facebook, mm-hmm. uh, Gothalon, um, you know, he's been having some issues with uh, with music on Facebook. So there's just been a, a, a bigger crackdown. The music industry has uh, come together and sort of not yet figured out how to work with streamers. And so their knee-jerk reaction is to lash out and do these copyright things, and that's, you know, having a negative impact on streamers. So that's the backstory. The quote here from uh, this man, Alex Hutchinson, he says, streamers worried about getting their content pulled because they used music they didn't pay for should be more worried by the fact that they're streaming games they didn't pay for as well. He goes on, uh, it's all gone as soon as publishers decide to enforce it. The real truth is streamers should be paying the developers and publishers of the games they stream. And they should be buying a license like any real business and paying for the content they use. So paying a license for the game that they're streaming? Right. So think about this, Matt. If you go to a Bengals game, you go to a Reds game, right? You listen to your radio. All mm-hmm. those people that play that music have to, you know, pay a royalty fee, you know, have to pay for some what, you know, license or whatever it is, whatever, you know, whatever sure. the copyright fee is. Now, in this situation, it's a, I would think the man is slightly confused, right? Because no one is going to like a sporting event to hear like, you know, Hell's Bells by ACDC. That's just the backdrop, right? That's just like the neon lights behind me. No one's coming to the stream to see my lights. They're coming to the stream to hear us talk. Where right. I think this guy has gone off base is the streamers are helping to sell the product of these developers right. and publishers. Co- correct. But but no one's forcing people... I, I can see, you know, you go to the baseball game, you're paying to go to the game. Or, you know, online, or you're listening to radio station. Radio stations, yes, they're paying royalties, but they're making money off of that shit, too. Streamers aren't making money off this unless they, you know, they're getting their subscriptions and, you know, people, you know, the big time streamers and that. So they're well, making money. Well, but, well, it depends. It depends. They are making money sometimes. If, uh, like say for instance, I'm a streamer and I have a t-shirt going, right? And I'm saying, hey, go get this t-shirt. I'm making a certain amount of money off of that because the company's paying me. They're providing me with free t-shirts, but they're paying me money to promote their brand because they know I have a hundred thousand subscribers. You yeah, know, bro, they pay. So streamers usually. <clears throat> should be are on the up and up anytime they have content that they've been paid for. You're supposed to use the hashtag ad or something of the equivalent, right? Yeah, right. Ab- absolutely. Um, <laughs> now, do you think whether you, you know it's whether it's Matt? Matt might have some more insight because he watches streamers more than I do these days. But does your guy Matt? Does he go out and buy Fallout 76? Does he go out and buy Destiny 2? Does does or does he get codes for those? I'm sure he gets codes. He, he gets codes for certain games. Right. And sometimes when he's playing those games, he'll put on, you know, this is a this sponsored is a sponsored stream. stream. Well, there's a difference a sponsored between a, stream. There's a difference between a sponsored stream and then given a code. So like like Doc would have sponsored streams for like World of Tanks, right? Where mm-hmm. World of Tanks came and said, "Hey, we're going to give you this X amount of money to play this for 4 hours today." And he'll put, you know, ad sponsored stream. But you think Doc bought PUBG? I'm sure they gave him PUBG. Well, I'm sure the, a lot of these streamers they're getting their games, right. you know. I'm now, but now I do say no. The guy I watch, he does buy games all the time. He's always out there. Like he bought that Genshin Impact. He he went and he buys like the fucking bonus shit and all that stuff, and he's been doing that. So, but he's, at the same, but at the same time, he's working. Also, he might get that for free, but he's working. That's 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 a job streaming and it, talking it, it, and, you know. And you know what? You're right. You're 100 percent right, Eric. It is a fucking job to stream a game. Yeah, yeah for eight, people think, oh my god, he's they're just playing a game. How hard it can be? No, fucking to provide entertainment like that for eight hours, nine hours a day. That's yeah. a fucking job, man. Yeah, to fucking work. play a game, sit down there, and well, fucking yeah. pay attention to chat and all that shit. 
I mean, how many times have you been in a stream where the, the streamer isn't in, interacting with you? You type in chat, they don't recognize it. Um, you know, they don't have, you know, the usual stuff that would entice you. You know, you've, you've been in streams before where it's just, you know, like, why is this person doing this? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So to really get out there for eight or nine hours and be interactive with the chat, have a camera on, you know, engage, all that type of stuff. It, yeah, it certainly is work. Now, yeah. the argument here is do like do call like say like Activision and, and um, Take Two. Rockstar, do they need those big time streamers to sell Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto? Like, how well would those games no. do without influencers? They would do well, but I think they would still do well before all the influencers and all that. But at the same time, <laughs> if you got three million motherfucking subscribers and two million buy your game, bro, come on, that's. That's a that's right. a that's a I mean, softball right there. I think there's um there's an argument to be made somewhere in there like we, you know we don't need you to show our game and if you want to play our game you know but why would you do that like Eric just said like why would you why for sixty bucks right if you're just asking the person to buy it like everybody else you're not asking you can't charge a streamer a license to license a game that everybody else can pay sixty bucks and stream all they want. Right, but um, but you but you know but you know every game has its fifteen minutes of fame, right? Remember, Fall Fall Guys was the hotness, right? So yeah. If I'm an influencer and I come back with Fall Guys every couple of weeks, then that revenue probably goes back up because of me. But <clears throat> right, and, and you're right, Eric. And there's a lot of streamers that you know Fall Guys, um, the fucking what's that soccer, the Rocket League, whatever Rocket you know, League, yeah. 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 You know, games like that, these third-party indie games, is where these streamers really help a lot of these developers yeah. fucking get their game out there and show, you know, uh, what's going on and sell these games. So, if I'm a, you know, like, Fallout guy, you know, I created Fallout guy, all right? And I fucking put out there and some fucking streamer stream, and all of a sudden I made, you know, a million bucks off these guys for my 15 minutes. Fuck yeah, I'll, I'll take that shit, right. you know, to... It it makes no sense to, like this guy says, to have some sort of license because, you know, what are you really doing? You're, you're causing, you're causing like friction between you and the influencer when you could just sit back and say, you know what, one hand washes the other. Chalk this up as as an advertising or marketing expense, and exactly. Let, and let the guy go off and do what he wants, and we'll take the residuals. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. I just so. Prior to him tweeting, or shortly after tweeting, he was listed as creative director at Google Stadia, and uh, he had to sort of take that down on his Twitter feed and sort of be more descriptive that he's actually a creative director at a studio owned by Google Stadia. So Google and the YouTube and the likes have uh, backed off of his comments because they don't agree with them. So. Yeah, because it's doing nothing but hurting. Right. Comments yeah. Hurting the, the but I wanted to, Matt. I wanted to weigh in because we have an up and coming streamer here, an influencer. So yeah, we do. Apparently, so yeah. I can't right. wait. I can't wait. <laughs> um, Eric, wait, Glove Box Gaming on YouTube, right? Is that predominantly where people can catch you these days? That's right. And I changed the URL, Mike. So it's now it's officially YouTube slash Glove Glove Box Gaming. So it's good. Okay. And, and and there is also YouTube slash Devious Mister Matt. And bad fodder figures, like we talked about earlier, and we are a subsidiary of Glovebox Gaming. I apologize. We are, we are, we we are all under the Glovebox <laughs> Gaming big umbrella. <laughs> now we haven't we haven't dived into the uh, official news yet, and um, I and Hale says, Matt, you look very sad tonight. And I told I we would get back to that. Um, Matt put in the show notes. Uh, that the um, old blood pressure medicine has been kicking his ass. For those um, that are following along at home, I think you allude. Did you allude to it on the last week's podcast? I think you did. I'm, I may, I may have. I don't know. But I, you were, you were going I, to the doctor to officially see if you needed to uh, get on this medication and everything like that. So you have yeah. been given the green light that you need to take this medicine, and it just hasn't been yes. sitting with well with you. Yeah, I went last Wednesday. I've been past couple years going to the doctor. My blood pressure has been extremely high, and so he made me buy a fucking monitor thing, and I've been uh, monitoring it and checking it out for you know the past month and that. I went back Wednesday, and he says, "Yep, look at these numbers. 
you need to put on some medicine. I think you're you got your hypertension. Fuck. So they put me on some blood pressure medicine, and I've been taking it since Wednesday. And it's starting uh, last night, and today it is starting to like fucking set in to where I am tired. I am lightheaded sometimes when I stand up. No sudden it's movements, like, Barb. Good next. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Warn me when you're going to do that next time, Barb. Exactly. Yeah. No, no. No fancy moves until I get a warning. What's the What's What's the name of the medicine? Lipinsol. Lipinsol. Eric. Uh, Lisinopril. It's, it's too. Yeah, I know. Lisinopril. <laughs> yes, that's it. Yeah, I take that too. That does nothing to me. It's great, actually. Fucking great. Yes, it's it's making me tired. I slept in today till fucking nine thirty in the morning. I've slept in bed. Jeez, that's about three hours later that. than you usually get up. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we'll go, you know, I kind of rolled around like, man, what time is it? I got one of those clocks that beams the laser beam light on the ceiling, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. I look up, it's like, nine fucking 30? Motherfuck. Do you have a pants tent? It's almost a day's. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you have a pants tent? I'd be like, <laughs> 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 I'm not getting up until this goes down. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, I've got to take this medicine. I got to call him back in ten days. I'm still monitoring my blood pressure. My actual blood pressure actually today is down normal range today, and I can tell because I'm like I said, I've been tired. I've been lightheaded. I can tell my blood pressure's down. So we'll see how this keeps going. I've been cutting back on the alcohol and shit. Um, so. Exercise probably that'll fix everything. Probably. Well, I I walk every day at lunch. I walk every day at lunch. I walk two and a half, three miles every day at lunch. You got Put your, a weight uh, vest on. I watch. I watch what I eat. I've already watched what I eat because of fucking diabetes. It I could watch be. What it I could eat. be. I watch what I eat too. <laughs> Four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be uh, genetic though, Matt. Huh? Oh, it, it is. is. It is totally yeah. is. He's like Mister Slim Body absolutely- over there. It's yeah. absolutely genetic. My fucking mom, my my fucking mom had diabetes and heart disease. She fucking died at fifty two. My I had an uncle died at fucking fifty three. My brother died at fifty three. So, so what you're saying you know, is everybody needs to come to these podcasts on a weekly fucking basis because nothing is really guaranteed. <laughs> you never know when I'm going to be all sounding like fuck. Well, Matt used to be here, but he's gone. Um, <laughs> you know, there's going to be a instead of my picture, there's going to be this space for rent. Uh, my parents came over today, and I was talking to my mother, and she said, you know, f- the 50s are the scariest time for people's health, that if you can get through the 50s, you're almost like, you know, have a good chance of living, you know, st- to like beyond 75. But they say most people who are going to, you know, die young die in their 50s. Wow. Thanks, Mike. My- Thanks for yeah, you know, I just, making me feel great. I just want to pass that info along, you know. I appreciate it. You know, Matt already gave us the facts, so I'm just... Back up. <laughs> I'm 51. Doom and gloom. Doom and gloom. I got a physical. I haven't been feeling right for weeks. I don't know what it is, but I got a physical coming up, not to the end of November. So fingers crossed, between now and the end of November, I can I can get through this. But if it gets any worse, I'll go to the old doctor. But, but. Just yeah. when you go, when you go, just remember to relax your muscles. You'll be all right. Relax. Relax no your muscles. Problem is they have a hard, relax. they have a real hard time drawing blood from me. Why your uh, veins collapse or something? Not, co- I think they just faint. Like they don't like. I don't know. I don't know if it's the tattoos or what, but they have a fucking hard time fucking drawing blood from me. Huh. Mm-hmm. I've never had that issue. Yeah. And I don't have like I never super had fat arms or anything. I'm doing pretty muscular, pretty solid, you know. But I'm not like you know fucking you know. Like, dude walking in with, like, you know, fucking cellulite arms, you know, the fucking, you know, it's like <laughs> jabbing, a needle, jabbing a needle into, like, you know, fucking 30 layers of fat or something, you know what I mean? It just, they fucking have a hard time fucking finding the, uh, fucking the vein, so. Um, but, yeah, I got an appointment at the end of November, so we'll see what's going on there. Oh, uh, my parents came over. I wanted to talk to, talk to you guys about this. This is about Thanksgiving. Now, Bibbs. You already had your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, uh, if, if we didn't say that already to you. <clears throat> but um, so my my brother's coming in from Ohio, supposedly. To cook? Okay. Not to cook. He's not coming in. He's coming over my my mother's house. She's gonna. Cook. Oh, that was it. 
my aunt, thought, that was your, my, no, that's that was my your cousin, 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 cousin yeah. Just, yeah, right, right. Okay. Yeah, he's a chef out in Chicago. Yep. Right, right. Um, so I was like, all right, you know, I'm a family of five. My parents too. That makes seven, and my brother's a family of four. It'd be eleven of us. You know, no one's really, you know, at risk. We haven't really done anything crazy. You know, mm-hmm. so I was, I was kind of, you know. Okay, I I think we could pull this off. And then she said, "Oh, by the way, you know, your two cousins and aunt are going to come. You know, my grandparents are dead, so my aunt can't go to see her parents on Thanksgiving. Uh, her husband, my uncle, died a few years ago, so she's alone as well. So they don't really have a place to go to Thanksgiving unless they do something just for the three of them. So they would so be that's coming. 14, that's fourteen, motherfuckers. That's fourteen. Okay." But, <laughs> But two of them, my cousin, one is, um, you know, she's she's not a nurse. She's like maybe um, something more a like your sister, like something more like your sister, um, Matt. She's like beyond and she's like above a nurse. She like meets with mm-hmm. patients to like go over their plans and things like that, mm-hmm. like to implement their like health care plans. Um, mm-hmm. And then the other, my other cousin is like. Uh, you know, in his mid twenties, and he goes out and parties all the time. You know, constantly going out, pictures on Instagram, Facebook, no mask on, just going out bars and, and you know, out the yin yang, you know, out the ass. So, so I risky. Don't, so I don't think I'm going to go to Thanksgiving. I think there's a lot of people that are not going to have Thanksgiving this year. I think I'm just yeah. going to let. I think I'm just going to let them have Thanksgiving without us. I think it's just too much of a risk. You know, if I'm wondering just, what's going. Cool. Go ahead. I'm wondering what's going on with fucking uh, Halloween this coming weekend. You it's letting your kids go out for Halloween, Mike? It's going to be the same at my house. Yeah, oh, we yeah. had nothing. <laughs> we know your house is going to be starting Christmas decorating. <laughs> that's right. My wife said she's decorating the first weekend in November, so that's next weekend. Um, my two oldest boys don't do Halloween anymore. They're 12 and 15. So it's just my youngest. He has a costume. He's going to be um, Lloyd from... Um, Ninjago, the green, the green ninja, hmm. and um, you know the town has canceled all their organized activities. There would usually be a parade and something on the common um, where you could go and walk through. Various vendors would give you candy, so all that type of shit has been canceled. But to the best of my knowledge, I think they've left it up to people whether they're going to do um, trick or treating or not. So we're waiting to see. Wait, yeah, everything how... here is kind of on as normal as far as trick or treat from six to eight o'clock. Now, Matt, Most Eric, people. I don't know if you know this. Uh, Matt bought one of those long tubes. You know, like you like. Remember the Brady Bunch? They put the poster in the oh, yeah. in, that, in that long tube. So Matt's got oh, like, yeah. Matt's got like three or four of these that he's hooked up in his garage, and he's just going to be at his front door, and he's just going to like throw the shoot yep. candy down the tube. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. I'm gonna be up in a fucking bedroom. This yeah. fucking slide going down. So like, here, kid, here's your fucking candy. Now scram. <laughs> it's just gonna be like one little like Hershey kiss or like uh, a to- Tootsie Roll, and then like the little wrapper, the little. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna th- I'm just gonna throw throw candy. You know, one that's what he does up, every year. What, what's yeah. new this year? That's what he does every year. He just throws things at people. Yeah. <laughs> Living out here in the woods, we don't get anybody coming out, you know, so I don't have to worry about anybody coming to my house. But my seven year old will be crushed if we can't do Halloween. So, mm, yeah. But, you know, it's good to have <laughs> letdowns and disappointments uh, early on in life. <laughs> it prepares you for later <laughs> on. There you go. It gets you ready. <laughs> and well, one last thing speaking about disappointed, gentlemen, this is not once, not twice, not three times, but four times since my company has been acquired by this big bank. That I haven't oh, been no. paid. I, haven't I don't paid. understand how this happens this day and age. So, so Friday, you know, you know, it's Friday. I'm trying to hit the ground running, trying to be positive, get ready for work. I'm all showered. You know, the wife, uh, you know, mentions, uh, you know, she's still in bed, but you know, she's awake. She has to get up and get her day going. And she's looking at our finances in the app, and she's like, "Oh, by the way, you didn't get paid." It's like what? It's like no, you didn't get paid. So I called up my boss and I said, hey, you know, I didn't get paid today. This isn't the first time. As you know, this is the fourth time. Uh, so I'm not coming in today. You know, taking a sick day. You guys figure it out and get back to me and let me know when I'm getting paid. Yeah, I, I don't fucking blame you at all, dude. That, that's some good stuff right there. 
How the fuck that even happens? So what I'm told is because I'm a remote employee. I'm not like an employee that's, you know, has a, you know, one of the offices um, that I, for some reason, they, you know, banking have these archaic systems sometimes. A remote employee um, has to have their information entered in by hand. So is someone fat fingering it? Is someone, you know, forgetting to do it? Or they do half of it and they don't come back and finish? I don't know. I'll have to get to the bottom of it this week. But um, it was a tense day on Friday. And it's really carried over through the weekend a little bit with a sour attitude because I feel slighted. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I feel like this doesn't happen to other people that are remote. Why just me? It's the beard. It's the beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beard. Beard, I, I, matter. beard lives matter too, bro. <laughs> I mean, knock on wood, but I've never in my whole life. I t- back when I got paper paychecks, you know, we were supposed to get paid on some. This one company was supposed to get paid on Thursday. Sometimes they come on Friday, you know, shit like that. But I have never not gotten a paycheck because of some type of fucking screw up or mix up or some bullshit. Hap- like that happens mm-hmm. to me uh, quite often, actually. Damn, I I would be pissed. I mean, I would I would be pissed. What the fuck? I put my hours in. Fucking pay me. Yeah, this isn't like you know. Hey, Matt, I'm gonna you know Matt's like you know Mike, come over and uh, bring the zero turnover and suck up some of the leaves and you know I'll pay you for you know gas and and your time and when I get some cash flow and when I get my next YouTube check, hey, I'll throw you forty bucks. You know what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. No, I have my relationship with my work is not out of friendship. It is a fiduciary type of relationship. I provide a service, you provide me cash. You know, absolutely. I like, I like that fediciary. That's right. <laughs> so, so right. Do, have you? So, have you gotten paid yet? Is, yes, is there a yes. paycheck? What's going on? Yeah, I got wired okay. late late on the day Friday. I got wired. Oh, I bet you got wired. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the the government they like. Oh, you didn't get paid. All right, noted. Motherfucker, they pay you what they feel like. <laughs> That's the best stuff for mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So uh, yep. why, uh, before we move on to the news, we got a full house. Some of you people in chat might have missed it uh, earlier. Can we get a show of hands? Is anybody in chat going to show up next week for the Halloween costume and try to earn uh, 60 bucks? I am. You, you got you to gotta get that money so you can get you a free cyberpunk or something. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's 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 very beneficial to you. New so, game seasons right around the corner. Exactly. I don't know why the alert didn't go off for eyes biddies. Did I miss that? I didn't hear it. It came on screen, but I did, uh, there was no sound. That's not. It's not my fault. I got the alerts on, but. Thanks, uh, Jay. Yeah. Thanks, Jay. We appreciate that. We actually cashed some of that money out. Finally, we got paid by Twitch last week, so we're able to. Um, we're we're able to return the favor and put some of that money back into the uh, into the people that are watching us earn sixty bucks. So, anything else you guys need to talk about before we move on to the news? Anything else we might have missed this week, or you need to get off your chest, or anything? I think we've got covered everything. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Let's move over to the news. Dear, 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 dear. The machine's getting ready for it. Really? Really? Okay, do you hear what he just said? Do you hear what he... He just said, why don't you, for once in your life, just do the fucking news? All right, no, 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 no. I'm going to do... No, I'm going to do the fucking news. No, here is the fucking news. All right, here we got some news stories this week. Um, Microsoft kicking this off here. Just in time, you know, just as you're getting the console, you know, ready for you, Matt, they're, they're making one for you behind the scenes. They're going to, you know, hand deliver it because you're an up and coming podcast. Um, they have come out and they did this interview. Phil Spencer did an interview this week with Strategery. And wow. he says that they're going to be doing gaming sticks like an Amazon Fire Stick. I can see it. He goes, I think you're going to see lower priced hardware. As part of our ecosystem, when you think about streaming sticks and other things that somebody might want to just go plug into their TV and go play xCloud. You could imagine us even having something that we just include in the Game Pass subscription that gave you an ability to stream xCloud games to your television and buying the controller. He went on to say that uh, there's also a potential now 
to uh, even confuse people more, to have Xbox Game Pass Platinum, which will guarantee you access to new Xbox hardware. So um, it's, a, it's an interesting take, right? You know, there's some of us out here who are excited to get these consoles, Matt, Eric. And then they're mm-hmm. going to tell you that you're also going to be able to play, you know, Game Pass in your TV. They're going to get you a stick and just go. See, Sony, I mean, right now, Xbox is trying to turn into the new Samsung or something. They just want to be everything to everything. They want to have toasters, refrigerators, TVs, video games. I mean, geez, you're, we, you're not, you're not calm far down. Off. You're not far off the course here. Matt, we'll get your input in a minute here, but... Um, They go on to say that Microsoft, of course, partnered with Samsung earlier this year for xCloud. You saw all the influencers out there Mm -hmm. get their phones, and they had those, um, you know, devices that they could plop the phone in, you know, the controller. Um, They also now are hinting that um, xCloud could be baked into uh, Samsung TVs as early as next year. See, man, geez. Um, You're going to see xCloud appear on Facebook Gaming next year? And they're also early next year going to be releasing the uh, web-based iOS solution for xCloud. So they're going to hit you, like Eric said, on your toaster, your refrigerator, wherever possible they're going to try to get you um, xCloud. Now, xCloud does – You typically xCloud means Game Pass, Matt, right? Um, but if you're on your app and you know on your tablet and stuff, you can also do things directly from your console as well, but – any regret, Matt, of buying your um, – plunking your pre-order down when maybe you could have just hold on for a few months and you could just plug something into the back of your TV? Nope, because I think it's going to be a different experience. Okay. Nope. I, I, I think I've – you know, the uh, console I'll get, I think it's going to be um, – you know, it's going to be set as far as gaming-wise and stuff like that. I won't worry about a bunch of other shit happening and going on, you know, clouds and all that crap. I'm going to be able to play the game. So, no, I'm not upset. I, but I think they're fucking smart as fuck for doing this. You know, it goes all in that whole universe and uh, atmosphere of them with the whole X Cloud and Game Pass and all that shit to sell these things and put it out there. They're trying to compete with Stadia. I think they've seen what Stadia's done, where Stadia's issues are, and I think they're going to try and uh, fix those issues. I, I, Like you guys said, you know, Samsung TVs will have it. And I, I, I guarantee you that. Android TVs will have some type of app on them for Xbox gaming. But don't you think you can oversaturate a little bit? Working for Netflix and Disney and HBO. That's how they feel about that. Yeah. You know, here's the issue, Eric, for me. If it's just Game Pass games, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like like trying to find a hit, you know, a needle in a haystack, right? There's maybe like... In my opinion, there's maybe like, you know, five to ten decent Game Pass games and everything else is just a little bit of like older stuff or filler. Um, Yeah, I I agree. Now, if you can use, you know, all these other things to stream games from your console, then that's a different story. So you bought Cyberpunk, right? When I buy Cyberpunk, and I buy it on Xbox, and I want to be upstairs with the family and just knock out a few side missions, I'll be able to stream Cyberpunk from my console to my tablet. Mm-hmm. And that's cool. And But I'm not sure if that's what he, we're talking about here with, with these sticks and Facebook and Samsung TVs. Is, that gonna, is it going to have the same xCloud functionality, or is that something that grows over time? Is the initial... Um, X Cloud functionality is just going to be Game Pass, and so therefore you get a handful of games that are good, and everything else is just kind of you know middle of the road experiences. I could see that at first, yeah, just Game Pass, you know, type of shit, and then later on you'll be able to you'll expand where you can actually buy a game to stream, you know, like Stadia does. Yeah, Luna came out this week for Amazon. I read some of the reviews on that. It's getting so so. Um, a lot of it is just, you know, latency and, and things of that nature. Xbox, in this article here, it says they're uh, shortly after launch or sometime very soon, they're going to be taking out the Xbox um, 
One X blades or One S blades in X Cloud and replace them with the Xbox Series X. So your X Cloud performance theoretically um, will be getting the an upgrade as well. Mm. Um, Eric, you're a guy that is often at work in gaming, so this next story might appeal to you. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Microsoft has added touch controls to 10 xCloud games. And they just supposedly just didn't throw in touch, and you figure it out or let the developers. They're saying that this experience has been tailored to these 10 games. Uh, they go on to say touch controls have been one of the top requested features for cloud gaming. For each title that uses X touch controls, we've worked to create an experience designed specifically for that game on mobile devices. Um, some of the 10 games here are Dead Cells, uh, Hellblade, Killer Instinct, Minecraft Dungeons, uh, Super Lucky's Tale, and a couple others as well. So, Eric, you'll have to report back. And that's out now. Those 10 games are out now. You can use them now tonight. So you'll have to let us know if you have time in a work session to try that out if you think it works good. Uh, yeah, so they, they list them. They if you look on Game Pass, it says uh, it's a title that says works works well with touch controls, and it's cool. a list of games that they have. Yeah, I'll check it out. Matt, remote play for PlayStation has had touch for a while, hasn't it? I believe so. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not a big touch touch screen guy. I need the me, me I, need, I, need, I need the controller. It just doesn't feel as right. Yeah, you're it's right. It's not the same. Yeah, I feel like there's like a combination. I feel like my hands get fatigued. And then my screen gets all dirty, like fingerprinty. Well, yeah, that and your hand, they get like sticky. I mean, not sticky, but they, they, they don't slide as easy the, on your, and you the know. Pre- the precision's not there. And yeah. I can tell, like, when I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile, I'm just murking folks, bro. And I can tell they're not playing with controllers because there's no way I'm shooting you in your face and you're just looking at me. <laughs> there's, you're shooting them and they're like guns pointed up in the ceiling. You know? <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> But like Matt said, you know, these Xbox, uh, you know, Microsoft right now, they're making play at every angle here with xCloud. You know, they're trying to, they're trying to appease all the masses, having it everywhere, touch controls. So you, don't, so you could have a subscription and not even buy a controller and you can play 10 games. It's going to be all for naught once that PlayStation comes out. Well, funny Bang. you say that. We, <laughs> we have a uh, PlayStation story here for you. We all, uh, at one point or another, have a PlayStation that is noisy, okay? And, of course, yes. we went over the um, the <coughs> breakdown. Who can forget the smug little man? He's so proud of himself breaking that PlayStation 5 down. And um, the fan. <laughs> that was great. And, you know, my wife backs this up, too, because she says it's like getting, you know, fucked like a tuna can. Um <laughs> The fan is 120, 120 millimeters in diameter, but the important 45 millimeters thick. Okay? It's all about the thickness is what I'm trying to get at here. The girth. The girth, right? So uh, <laughs> the they went girth. on. The, the, the VP of mechanical design at Sony Interactive uh, said that Sony will optimize the fan um, – so they can control the processing unit, the APU, the accelerated processing unit behavior in each game. Uh, various games will be released in the future, and the data on the APU's behavior in each game will be collected. We have a plan to optimize the fan control based on this data. So I think what that means is <clears throat> if a game is running hot, you know, maybe later on in the PS5 uh, cycle, Games, you know, get more sophisticated, more complex. We've got a game that's really hammering on the system. They can sort of ratchet up that fan, even if it means it's not going to be as quiet. If You know, they're trying to battle the, um, the quietness versus the coolness. Eric, you like them mucking around in your fan settings? Uh... I don't really mind. It just, it just makes sure my thing doesn't sound like a, a helicopter coming in for landing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I care about. Yeah, they they said the PS5 is designed for quietness. Um, so we'll we'll see in the long run if this this thick fan uh, keeps things quiet. But they are at least in a position where they can read the data, and if a game is running too hot, they can cool things off. 
Matt yeah, I mean, air- I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mike. No, no, go ahead. I mean, I mean, airflow on these things has got to be important because you're you get high end. A lot of these high end PCs are fucking liquid cooled and shit. They're not doing that shit with these things here. It's all fucking air going through in that. So hey, you know, Matt, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, wonder why they don't have some sort of like liquid cooling in them or something. If it's such a a problem, price, cost, I guess. But yeah, yeah. But it, it's, uh, it's just as a like, holy cow, man. I inhale says, just make it easy for me to get to the heat sink so I can clean it. Well, they got that breakdown video, buddy. They can. Sh- that guy, <laughs> yeah, that you, guy showed you. Yeah, that break- and you too can sit there like this. <laughs> yeah. Smug little man. <laughs> Smug little man. <laughs> I still got. I still got the screen. <laughs> I love that. That, that, that picture is just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean <clears throat> there he is. <laughs> Look at that. What the fuck is wrong with me? That's what like, <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> He's saying to himself, how quickly can the, my uh, understudy get in here and put this back together? Yeah. <laughs> from what I've been hearing, I haven't heard much from the PS5 cuz those just started going out this past week, I think. To, yeah, they uh, only could show the boxes this week. Yeah, but from what I've been hearing from people that have the Xbox Series X, it rivals a lot of computers. Yeah, it is some really powerful shit. Yeah. So. That's exciting, man. You know, they're all doing things like games are getting updates right now to prepare for launch. And they said that like all the first party Sony games are seeing a tremendous uh, benefit already, even before the PS5 came out. Like I was reading something about The Last of Us. The original Last of Us, like the loading times, have been reduced from like two minutes to like 14 or 18 seconds. So if you're like wow. booting up a game from like a save point or something like that, get you into the game in like under 20 seconds. I think I'm looking forward to that shit more than anything else. Is fucking the speed, the quickness of it, man. Just to fucking and this, in and, and out, and, in and, and out, this, just like my fucking bedroom. In and out. Doing- they're doing no speeds at the beginning of the console generation. Just imagine towards like when we're three years in, you know? You're right. Well, well, you know, we talked about this a little while ago about how file sizes are going to go down because now they have these SSD drives. They can be smarter. They just reduced the file size on um, Fortnite on PC down to 30 gigabytes. So there was a, like a 27 gigabyte update. Uh, and once that was all done, it reduced your file size from like, I think originally it was like under, just under 100 gigabytes, maybe closer to 90, and it brought it all the way down to 30 by the optimization. That's, by the optimization. that's crazy, so crazy 60, compression. 60 gigabyte difference. Now, Fortnite, um, you know, it's got nice, it looks like a very nice game, runs, you know, it doesn't have, I don't think it has like crisis, you know, type of graphics, you know, but it's certainly... Um, there's a lot to it. There's a lot going on. So that's impressive to bring it down like that. And supposedly that's going to carry over to all these other games with the, with the exception of uh, Warzone and Call of Duty, which keeps going up in gigabytes. Yeah. In and out like a fiddler's elbow. Just remember to breathe. Yep. Yep. All right, moving on here. What else we got? Ubisoft has an exciting thing. Um, they're going to be putting to rest uh, UB Play and um, whatever their other Ubisoft thing, their app is um, UB Play and Ubisoft Club are going the way of the Dodo Bird. October 29th, they're going to be releasing something called Ubisoft Connect. It also comes along with uh, Watch Dogs Legion. So when Ubisoft Connect comes out, they're going to be releasing. Uh, cross save pr- cross platform progression at launch. Um, so this will support three games right away: Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Immortals: Phoenix Rising, and Riders Republic. So, <clears throat> Matt, you're not getting the PS5 right away, but you want to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the PS4. You buy that when you're ready to get the PS5. Your save will go right over to the um, to the PS5. And That's it's not- nice. And it's not just in the family of consoles. So you got you you know you got a good deal to play it on the PS4, but now it's come to like say Game Pass on Xbox, mm-hmm. and you want to see what it looks like to play it on the Xbox. You can bring your save from PlayStation over to Xbox, and vice versa. That's nice. Yeah. You think you That's think that nice. will will make you buy more games? 
like um, let's say if it was like a Division Three, right? And let's hope they've made changes to the Division Three to bring us all back in. Um, but let's say it was <laughs> let's say it was that type of game online, you know. So um, Bibs is playing on PC and we're on PlayStation, but you got a deal, a cheap deal to play it on on PC to play with Bibs occasionally. Your your progress, you know, carries right over, right? I, I think it's very helpful. I mean, it's like yeah. De- Destiny, you know, with the cross save on there. I can play on Xbox with my new clan, and I can go to PS4 and still play with Mafia old, and Latino my Mafia. Clan. My old my clan. clan. <laughs> my old clan. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think it's a great thing. I think I think it really helps uh, gaming and consoles, to be honest with you. Yeah, Maniac, who's not here tonight, but he's often stated that um, he would buy, he would think about buying games more if they had this cross save, you know, so he could play mm-hmm. with people people on different systems. Mm-hmm. Interesting that it comes out October 29th, but Watch Dogs Legion, which also comes out on that same day, does not have it out of the shoot. But they are promising this for a majority of their games. So, so good on Ubisoft. That's uh, good. Yeah. Two two stories left here. Next one is Gears Five, new DLC coming in December. It's called uh, Hive Buster. Not many people might not know who the Hive Busters are, but uh, all they can say right now is that it is coming out in December. It's supposed to be about three to four hours of content. They won't reveal details until later on if it's going to cost or if it's going to be free on Game Pass. But no, 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 be- I just already asked that. Yeah. But it will be available on um, current gen and new gen. Uh, the Hive Busters right now are a um, squad of three that you can play in the new uh, escape mode, which I think we've done a couple times. If you can remember that, we were getting lost and stuff like that. We couldn't figure out where to go. Um, so those are the Hive Busters. They've also been introduced in some of their comics that came out originally. So they'll give us more details. But three to four hours of content. You know, some of these systems don't have a lot of content, and it seems like Gears 5 is getting a lot of hype this week. They're talking about all the benefits that this game will get with the new systems. Uh, If you're into wrestling at all, there's a wrestler named Batista who's also in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy as Drax, right? Mm -hmm. Um, His skin will be available to play in place of Marcus Phoenix, in um, Gears 5 when it comes out. So if you don't like Marcus and you want to play as Batista instead, uh, you can do that. I think it it's going to be a little weird, though, because I think it's going to have Marcus's voice in some spots and Batista's voice in others. So I'm not sure how that's all going to work. But uh, long story short, Gears 5, is they're making a big push with this for the new system because it's supposed to be one of the more prettier games. So. Mm. Matt finished that. He, it's one of his r- rare games that he came in and finished. Even yeah, because you was at the end there. Because you was at the end there. I came in and helped you. <laughs> that, was, that was a rare one. I was like, oh, sweet. And you got the achievement and everything, I think. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I got the achievement and all that shit. It's like, oh, this is awesome. Gold all right, star. cool. I'm done. I can cross this off to my list. <laughs> yeah. We'll have, maybe have to replay some of it to see what it looks like in the new system. I'll be curious to see if the DLC is going to be free in Game Pass or not, if, if I'd be available to uh, play that or not. Yeah, three Because I won't mind playing that in the Series X, just to see what it looks like there, how it plays there. Yep. And the last bit of uh, news here, this is exclusive to PlayStation 4 and 5 for one year. Um, Call of Duty is releasing um, a new, you know, they got the exclusivity with PlayStation. They had uh, Spec Ops. That was exclusive to um, the current iteration of Call of Duty, and I think that exclusivity just ended. So this new one for their zombie onslaught is a um, a year exclusivity as well. It's a co-op horde mode, so it's not the typical uh, zombies that you that you think of. It's more horde based. You and another um, player can jump in, fully kitted out, and uh, defeat waves and waves of zombies. And it's going to reuse some of the existing maps. Um, but, you know, a lot of people are upset that that content, once again, is just going to be exclusive to the PS4 and PS5 for one whole year. It expires on November 1st, 2021. Mm-hmm. There'll be seasonal maps. 
and they'll reward you with goodies to use in both zombies and regular multiplayer. Do you guys download the um, call? Did just well actually, Matt? Did Noah download the um, beta for Cold War? Did he get into the he did. beta? What was his, what was his thoughts? Uh, he so far he's enjoying it. You know, he bought it, pre-ordered it for the PC. Um, he liked it. He had a good time. So mm-hmm. I think he's look. I think he's pretty much looking forward. To, I think he's looking forward to the uh, campaign, the story, more than anything else. Yeah. Good night, Bibs. Take it easy. See you, um, Bibs. Do you do you envision yourself picking up Cold War? With the because of the story? You don't know yet? Yeah, if <laughs> anything, gotta, I'd pick it up for the multiplayer, but yeah, I don't know. I'm it picking has, it up for the story. Because I want to see the whole Ronald Reagan thing. I want to see that. It's gonna be cool. Mm. I mean anybody- that does intrigue me because it's more of my era, you know, growing up in the eighties and all that shit, so yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I thought it was really impressive, the uh, face modeling and everything that they did. You know, pretty pretty good um, interpretation of Reagan. I thought. Yeah. Did you um? Did I have either one of you guys been playing Call of Duty with the update, the Halloween update, where you can go out and get the um, zombies? Well, no, that's like the. Well, I haven't seen the zombies yet, but there was like certain like like trick or treat stops along the way, like. You know, certain loot chests that you have to go, like at the TV station. I briefly jumped in and, and played a little bit of that. It seemed nice. It was darker, too, right? It had more of a Halloween yeah. vibe, you know, spooky vibe to it. Might be something we want to play um, before it expires. I think it's only good until very early November. Hmm. Again, yes, I look at the interest in his face. <laughs> Sullen. I don't know if it's the story content or the blood pressure <laughs> medicine. We, we can't tell. <laughs> Um, well, b- before he falls asleep on us, uh, Matt, tell us, <laughs> t- tell us what you've been playing this week because I'm fresh out of news stories. Oh, my. Uh, well, Destiny 2. I am done with the Halloween shit in Destiny 2. I'm fucking so fucking tired of that fucking haunted forest and all that shit. I have uh, stopped doing it today. I've got all the uh, triumphs for the season. So, all right, I'm done with this shit here. I'm going to continue on just playing my regular shit. And even with that, I've kind of slowed down a little bit because with the DLC coming up here, you know, in a couple of weeks, but why? There's no reason to fucking grind and work hard at shit right now because you know it's all going to be not to matter here in a couple of weeks. So, so you know, with all the, the D- new gear and all that, the DLC is coming out, but then they're also that's when they um, take away a bunch of content and planets and things mm-hmm. like that too, right? Yes, the sunsetting goes on with uh, your, a lot of your old gear and weapons. And then, uh, yeah, a lot of the uh, Mars, Titan, uh, Io, are psh, they're gone. They're they're they are no longer going to be available. So if you have anything you have to do on this planet, get it done now before uh, the new uh, stuff comes out because it might be a while. So okay, um, I am curious when they do this update to Destiny. If it will fix the woes I have of playing Destiny on Stadia, mm. I still can't. I still can't get that game to run well on Stadia, and it's the only game. And like I said, it was once I did that merging of my uh, moving my account from BattleNet to Steam. I am curious yeah. if if they do something on the back end, you know, with their code, if it will uh, change what happens for me. Yeah, I don't know. Let's hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I did that. Did with my unlimited uh, expiration of uh, Madden. I played. I did a little more Madden this past week, um, which is interesting. That whole thing there. Borderlands Three. We did some Borderlands Three, which was fun. Good times there. Um, the game's still janky as fuck, uh, unfortunately. But um, yeah, that's about it. You know, working. Working hard, getting busy at work. You know, still working at home. I saw um, Bibbs mention in the chat a little while ago that The Mandalorian is coming out on uh, Disney Plus. Is that something you'll be watching when it comes out live? Did you watch the first one? Yep, yep, I did too. And Barb watched it. Barb likes it. I liked it. So yeah, we'll be watching it. We'll check That's that. A really out. Really good show. Really good. It's a good show. Mm-hmm. 
watching anything else? Did anybody watch Borat? No, but I've seen some scenes. Uh, yeah, I just from... watched the. I watched the Rudy Giuliani scene. I thought yeah, that yeah, it's fucked up, ain't it, Eric? That's hilarious. Yeah, uh, I'm watching the new Fargo on FX. The new Fargo series, man, that's good. It's, it's really good. It, it, I'm really enjoying that. Watching that and Bob's Burgers. I love Bob's Burgers. But yeah, no, that's about it. All right. Eric, what about yourself? Did you mostly work this week or did you get any gaming or TV time in? I did some uh, gaming. I did some working and gaming while I was at work. So, you know, I I played uh, at home, though. I played uh, I played a lot of Torchlight 3. Cause, you know, that just went, you know, it came out of, uh, I guess, the early uh, access. Beta, it's a, early yeah, it's access. Now, now yeah, it's it an early out. access. I can't remember if it's. No, it was, no, it came out of early access. It's, okay. it's official now. Came right. out and it's a, uh, I love it. It's what Diablo clone, but it's really nice. Really, it looks really nice now. Where are you playing it? On the PC. PC. Yeah, I was playing that. Uh, played a lot of Stadia. Uh, that Phoenix demo, what's it called? Yeah, a, a Mortal. Um, Phoenix Mortal Rising. Phoenix Rising. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. Zelda, Zelda-like kind of sort of. It's pretty good though. That's an exclusive demo, demo it, to Stadia. It, it, yeah, <sighs> demo is pretty long. It's like uh, forty minutes long, something like that, man. I gotta check that out. Yeah, it's pretty good. What's I what's the, the uh, um? How do you get around in the game? Is it are you like on the ground or are you flying around on like a phoenix or whatever? It's just like Breath of the Wild, you know. So you're uh. You know, you're running around, sword play, and all that stuff, beating all in. But you can jump off of cliffs, like you can climb stuff, jump off of cliffs, and these you have these wings, and you okay. float down and everything. Pretty decent. I think it's going to be check, okay when it comes up. I got to check that out. Yeah, it's it's wild that that's gotten a Stadia exclusive demo, but it's getting released everywhere. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, what's up? I'm playing. Play some more um, Mario Kart Home Circuit. Yeah, Matt and I were watching um, uh, Gothalon play that on Facebook. Matt was impressed with it. It's freaking fun, man. I thought it was pretty cool, man. It's pretty ingenious what they did there. That's some fucking smart shit, man. Yeah, my wife, she just thinks it's the work of uh, the devil. Because he's like, how does it do that? (laughs) And she, she, she thinks it's so awesome. I'm telling you, man, that's going to be a big ticket item for for Christmas, man. I'll tell you. Yeah. So if you can get it now, Mike, I would say get it when you can because. Yeah, yeah. I keep looking to see when it's available on Amazon and stuff. Well, it's it's a big ploy for Nintendo to map your houses out and put them into, uh, you know, their their big database. So just keep that in mind, too. Yeah. So they can come. (laughs) So they can come break in and take your dildos, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Wow. <laughs> we go right yeah. to that, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, it was my birthday. You know, <laughs> so people always come up with a way. Eric just brought something up. You know, that little course. People could put, like, fucking Playboys and shit along there. You know, you can yeah. see, like, naked chicks yeah. and shit along, you know, like, fucking billboards and stuff. Fucking have, just, a, have a fucking dildo as a fucking yeah. obstacle or something. It's, it's <laughs> another camera in your house that's mobile. Do it, Eric. Do it, do it, Eric. Make fu- I don't, fucking... The okay, dildos first, and shit around the house. First, and, first, first sex off, toy course. Okay, first <laughs> off, first off, as far as I know, there are no dildos in my house. As far as I know, I don't. I, you gotta, I might not you got, know. You got to expand your horizons, Eric. I, well, as far as I know, there's not, and I and, and I'm 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 100 sure there's no Playboys in my house. So my house is pretty boring. Well, Matt's pretty old school when he says Playboys. I mean, we. <laughs> Yeah, I've still got Playboys from the fucking 80s or anything mattress upstairs. Oh, no. <laughs> now, you was tell us about that one Playboy with Marge Simpson on it. You got that one, right? I got that, yeah. That's upstairs on top of the fucking fridge. <laughs> I know exactly where that one. I should I should grab and pull that down real quick. Pull it down, Just man, leave man, the dildos it. alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, bring that. The, don't bring those down. <laughs> yeah. Bart's going to like, where the fuck does where, 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 where my stuff go? <laughs> <laughs> so so that's all I've been playing, Mike. That's it for this week. All right. Um I'm in the middle of having a love hate relationship with NHL twenty one. It's my it's currently oh. my my crack addiction. I actually bought the game. I went to the whole ten hour trial and then bought the game at the reduced uh EA play price. 
Is this the first one you bought in a while, huh? It is, uh, it is. Yeah. And I, I'm not saying I'm terrible at it. I started, you know, this is how deep I am into the game. I've started a season. I never do anything like that. I just play like exhibition games, come in, play like the three-on-three mode. But I actually started a season, and it's going swimmingly. I'm 0-3-1. Um, so you're turning this to, you're turning this to the MLB The Show Matt right now. Right, but, I, but again, I'm 0-3-1, so I have not registered a win yet. But I'm losing. <laughs> but you're still playing. I'm losing these games like you know five four four three, you know six four. So what happens is, the game feels like it has like this accelerator mode at some point. So, for majority of the game, I'm leading. So I would say the most recent game, I was up like three to two with like five minutes left in the game, and then all of a sudden, boom. Like, all penalties are being called on me, like the usual poke checks that I'm doing. All of a sudden, it's getting a tripping call, and then the other team just comes on and scores, like, goals and bunches. Like, right at the, you know, it teases you all the way through. It's like they're putting this carrot in front of you. Like, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm going to get a W. And then, like, gangbusters, they come on, and they just whip my ass right at the end. Holy shit. It has the Mario Kart Kart algorithm on it then, huh? It feels like it's kind of like, like... and I, my two top guys are out for significant time. So Patrice Bergeron, who's like the starting center for the Bruins, got a broken leg second game in, and he's out till fucking February. And uh, the other guy, Pasternak, is out for like, you know, till mid-November with a concussion. It's like, what the hell? My two top guys. I'm thinking oh, of like hell. just like starting a new season. I'm only four games in. I'm going to lose my two top guys. I'm never going to get a win. Mm-hmm. Fucking dismayed, but I keep playing. I keep going back to it because I enjoy it so much. See, see how that is. That's good. That's a good game right there. Yeah, you're not winning, you know, yeah. but you're still having fun and you're going back and you're still playing. Yeah, that's a good game. That's a, that's I mean, a sign of a good fucking game. game. I'm ready for Matt to download this so I can get some W's, so I can get some dubs, so I can play online, so I can feel like you know I got the, you know, he, he's got it free for ten hours. <laughs> All right. Okay. I need, some, I need to get some dubs. I'll work on that tomorrow. I'll work on that tomorrow. And um, the only thing I've been playing is uh, Ghost of Tsushima, making uh, great progress on this. But there's a funny thing about this game, is it happens every time I play it, where I have to like psych myself up to play because it it's a very serious subject matter. It's it's a, like a dour game, and I don't know why I do this. I have this like mental block, like. Oh, do I feel like playing this right now? Do I feel like, and I have to will myself to play it. And then once I get in, I'm having like the best time in my life. And I think it's like one of the best games I've ever played. Wow. So it's just like really like weird thing because I think it's like so serious and you got to be on point. And, you know, there's just a lot of shit going on as far as, you know, every two feet there's a standoff. There's, you know, Mongols everywhere. But I'm telling you, once I get in there, I just got the, the second – um I got my fam- my my clan uh, family armor all the way maxed out, you know. So now I got like the antler horns on my uh, samurai mm-hmm. helmet. So I'm really pimped out. My stats are like almost maxed out. So I'm really slicing and dicing guys up. But it's like that mental hurdle for me to get into the game. And then once I get in, I'm like, this is fucking unbelievable. Now multiplayer came out on that too, right? Yeah, I've been playing. Every time I'm jumping on, I see I online playing that legends. I haven't looked at it or touched it or anything because I really just want to finish the story so I don't get distracted because I really want to beat this before the PS5 comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, but that yes. multiplayer, that, that multiplayer is a free upgrade, right? It's- it is a free upgrade, yes. Yep. Okay. And there's all sorts of outposts in the game as you're playing. Now they pop up. It's uh, legends or something else, and um, you just go up to one of those posts and you can jump right into the multiplayer. So it's pretty pretty neat how they integrated it into the game. But yeah, fucking outstanding game. I mean, Xbox can be talking all they want about sending people refrigerators and shit. You have fucking Ghost of Tsushima over there. Just a fucking drop-dead gorgeous game. Almost next to nothing load times. Uh, killer combat. You know, decent video game story, right? Mongols attacking, you know, your homeland. And you're the lone samurai. And you got to kill everybody and get your homeland back, right? You know, good video game story, pretty much. Yeah. I really I really love it. I just don't know why I'm having this mental block every time to psych myself up to play it, because I absolutely love it. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're having a great time playing it. So. It's, it's Witcher-esque. You know, that's what it is. It's Witcher-esque right now. 
You know, it is it is a, a dark subject matter. <clears throat> All right. What time are we at? We're at 10.15, Matt. Are, are you slouching in your chair? Are you full of piss and vinegar? I am. Can you, can you get one story out for the, for the masses? <coughs> can you psych yourself up? Yeah, I think so. One story. You got one in the, in the uh, I don't see one in the planner, but you got, oh, this one in there, urinate. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> like these women of the night walking around broadcasting out their anuses. Oh, I'm like 70s hairy. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, look at that. Burn it up. I'm right <laughs> down with a fucking fan. Adult toys, sex crime, Vaginas. sexual assault, vaginas. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, who's got the GPS on the rub and tug? Ah! All right, gentlemen. Now. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes Jay, I and Hell kind of worries me. <laughs> and it's because of stories like this out of Detroit. A Michigan woman says she woke up to someone urinating on her while she was on a Delta flight home to Detroit from Las Vegas. That someone happened to be a well-known North Carolina pastor. According to a report from WJBK-TV Fox, a 2 News in uh, Detroit, the pastor, who hasn't been publicly identified, was issued a court appearance for misdemeanor assault and release, said Mary Schneider, a spokeswoman for the Detroit Office of the FBI. Until he appears in front of a judge and therefore gets formally charged, we will not be releasing his name. Uh, Schneider says she did know the scheduled date for the pastor's court appearance. She said the FBI learned about the incident through the Wayne County Airport Police who initially responded to the incident. Alicia Beverly told the Detroit TV station the incident happened on Monday night on a red-eye flight. She says most of the people on the plane were asleep at the time. Um, she was sitting in the back of the plane next to her sister at the time of the alleged incident. <laughs> this is where it gets good. It felt warm. Like on the side of me, I felt something warm, she told yep. WG BK. I jump up and I see this private area out and I screamed and that woke everybody up. But that time I actually looked at him. I see him shake himself off. Oh, and I'm like, oh. this man just peed on me. Oh, I looked and there was a puddle of pee in the seats. Beverly told Fox 2 an off-duty police officer was among those who heard her scream and woke up. She says he restrained the man who WJBK is a damn thing as a well-known pastor from North Carolina. The report from Fox says the pastor may have had a reaction to a sleep aid which he took. Beverly says the man didn't say a word the entire time he was standing next to her during the alleged incident. Fogel, he was Beverly says she had to sit in her urine-soaked clothes for the rest of the flight Ugh. about three more hours before oh, it landed at no. Detroit. I'd have been butt-necked. Oh, God. Uh, Fox News said the police did take the pastor into custody with possible charges pending. The FBI handles investigations into incidents alleged to have occurred on airplanes. Let's hope he didn't have any asparagus. Oh. oh. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, thank you, Pete. Oh, no. Matt loves himself some good asparagus. You always know when you've had it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Three hours to sit in that, huh? Matt, on a scale of... On a scale of I don't need blood pressure medication or I need a whole goddamn fistful. <laughs> How pissed I, would you be? This bottle would be empty. There's like the- twenty seven there, there's like twenty five, twenty four pills left. That whole bottle would be fucking <laughs> Fuck that, you know. Yeah, you know, maybe I can start blaming shit on this now, you know. Yeah. You know, Matt, what caused you to do that? Well, fucking blood pressure pill. I don't know. <laughs> fucking yeah, side effects. <laughs> fucking side effects. <laughs> Have you ever been? It's a loose. It's a terrible question. Have you ever been pissed on? In any sort no. of. I mean, I've pissed myself many times, but yeah. I've never been pissed on. <laughs> no, I've not. I've not been pissed on. No, I've never pissed on anybody either. But I remember one time. I was uh, invited over to this woman's house. This is before I met oh, no. my wife, and uh, I got loaded on like beers very quickly that night. I don't know how it happened because I don't think we had that many. And I fucking was stumbling drunk and could not find the fucking bathroom. And I just pissed in someone's bedroom. And I, you, know, <laughs> you know, and 
And it didn't on like, the floor. Yes, I thought it was the bathroom. Just fucking opened the door and took a piss. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it it took many years of like adulthood to realize like how come she never called me back after that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like hey, for like for like a few immediate like a, a few like you know weeks after that, I'm like, wow, I was kind of miffed. I thought that went well, and but then I didn't hear anything from her. How she know and, it was your piss? How would they know it was my piss? Yeah. I don't think it was just me and her were there. I think her roommates were ever were out. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, that'll do it. That's on that's the Wayback Machine. That story's good. It's got to be late 97, <laughs> the early 98. <laughs> the yeah, Wayback Machine. Yeah, that's incredible there. Yeah, the, diff, the different Mike Mahoney back then. No, oh, yeah. Ha, have thing. any of you guys ever pissed on anybody? No. 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 My brother said he had a chick that was into that. Not me. Just some fucked up shit, man. People like 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 getting fucking shit on stuff, man. What the fuck? That's what, that's what, a whole what the fuck's wrong with people. World. That's a whole other bizarre world. <laughs> I mean, hey, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? To each his own, but not me. Uh, that's no fucked way. up, Eric. No way. <laughs> no way. It's like eating ass. Oh, come on now. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 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 It might be it might be like one in one A, like on oh, my all time favorite yeah. thing to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh oh God. God. Well, thank you for that enlightening story, Matt. And now to remind you that the planner is officially emptied. We'll delete we'll delete that from the from Oh the, thank uh, you. I will uh I will, will be looking up. at my own for stories. I don't need people to send me stories and fucking hey, look, bait me and shit. F Y I story last week was better. But just <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we need other people to find stories. I was framed. <laughs> I was framed. Yeah. All right. So before we wrap this up, uh, let's remind everybody that the Halloween show is next Sunday. Eric, are you working or are you home? Next Sunday, I should be home. All right. So some sort of costume will be required. Depends. The the, ult- the ultimate uh, Washington sports fan will probably be the low hanging fruit for you. Um, hey, for right now, for for right now, I'm home, but we'll see. We'll see. D- d- shit goes on in the world. You might be called in. Well, then you can just be yeah. Officer Dan. You can just be Officer. There you go. Eric, you know. There you there go. go. Um. Oh, it was just discussed. Eric cannot dress as a cop for the contest. I. I can I dress as? Can I dress as a cop for the contest? Yeah, Eric, send all your gear to Matt, and he can dress as <laughs> Officer Glove. <Glovelock. laughs> I'm going to send Eric my Bengals hat, my Bengals jersey. He's going to send me some fucking. Uh, Cops yeah. Shit. yeah. Yeah. All right. Got you. So yeah. So the plan is we'll set up a um, a chat room or something in uh, in Discord. You guys can all be. I, I, I was I was thinking that in the back of my head, but I did not <laughs> want to go there. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. no, that's not going to happen. Yeah. And he tags me in it. No, that's <laughs> not going to happen. No. Oh, well, speaking of which, go back to NHL 21 real quick. Oh, Man, no. So, some of the fan shots are just very awkward. Um, so you got like, clearly they wanted to have a wide breadth of people in the audience. So, you know, you have black people, white people, Asian people, Middle Eastern or whatever. But they didn't change like their like f- facial features. So you have someone that clearly looks like a white person's facial features with like, super black skin on and vice versa it's just the weirdest bizarrest thing i've seen i gotta take some screenshots so you can see it but it sticks out like a sore thumb like you're gonna put all those people in, you're gonna try to make that effort you know i get it and they just they needed a little bit more polish you know just as they just went through like a color picker and said yep this person gets you know, this color this you know a color picker <laughs> they didn't. They didn't think you was going to critique them like that. They was just like, "Hey, that's just background." They're not paying attention to that. Well, when they show the fans every fucking two seconds, you know, you, these things pop up. You know. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll have something in Discord. You can join. Uh, again, the website for to join Discord is tiny.cc forward slash bffs. We'll uh, bring you in one by one. Um, you know, we're probably going to look at you before we bring you in. So if you're dressed up as, you know, something inappropriate, we'll be like, sorry, uh, you got the wrong podcast. You know, please, please try again type deal. Not just And I will message you later to see more. 
<laughs> All right. So let's uh, wrap this up. Matt, any shout outs, plugs? Uh, shout out everybody in chat. Jay, uh, Bibbs, uh, Robin Pig was in there also. Thanks, guys, for showing up. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Shout out my cat for showing up. You know, awesome. Uh, Eric, Mike, uh, as always, good show every week here. Great. Love it. And happy birthday, Mike. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eric? Yeah, man, I want to shout out everybody in chat, even though I can't see you guys. I know you're there, and I'm glad you're there. Uh, Mike, the captain of this, this, this thing here, happy birthday. You look like you're about 35, bro. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to you, and uh, hey, man, that's it. I'm going to go back to work after I'm done with you fellas. Play some, play some games. No. Yep. And next week, I promise, we'll try to get the alert sounds back. I don't know what happened to them, but thank you for all the biddies eye. They don't go unrecognized. I'm not sure why. Maybe Streamlabs is having an issue with the, with the biddies tonight. We saw them. We saw them. Let me test the sound just while he's doing it, though. Yeah, even when I test it, it doesn't work. So Cool. Um, it, could be the demise. it could be the demise of your Microsoft PC over there. Oh, no, I got the update. The update is... Um, oh, it finally went through? Yeah, I got it. You oh, know what I had cool. to do, because I had to unplug every device but my monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Oh, so you had to go to the bare bones. So once I just stripped everything off, it took the update, no problem. Cool. Um, yes, so shout out to everybody in chat. Thanks for the uh, bits. I appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to seeing uh, what the costumes will be like for uh, next week. I still got to plan my, my costume. I know Matt has already planned. No, uh, no spoilers, Matt. Let's keep this a surprise. Keep it under wraps if you can. Um, shout out, let's you give a shout it. out to RoboPig and Good for Gaming. I know the big uh, Extra Life event is coming up uh, soon. I, I'm not sure what the big day is. Maybe November 7th, a Saturday, I want to say maybe could be the big day. But I think RoboPig is doing his on um, November 1st for Extra Life. And so you can go to uh, Good for Gaming, twitch.com slash good for gaming for the number not spelled out and he'll be streaming a variety of things and you can make a uh, donation and he'll put certain hats on and all this other stuff so um, make sure you support him i'm sure he'll be playing apex and destiny 2 and other games along those lines but really that's all i got for this week this has been uh 138 Next week, uh, 139, and it'll be our Halloween show. It'll be also November 1st, so Halloween will be officially over, except for our show. Exactly. Halloween's not over until we say it's over. live look into our Halloween show next week. Someone show up, but in a costume, please. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. Yeah. Later. See you, chat.